that little pup on top there that's jumping around, that's the little one that nearly nearly died. Look at him now, hey? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Trying to wake his brother up. Where'd you go? Oh, you're back. Doesn't your brother want to wake up and play with you, hey? Oh dear. But he's a little cutie pie. <laughs> You're going to try and wake your sister up then, are you? Maybe she'll wake up and play with you. No, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like anyone wants to wake up and play with you this morning. Hey guys, welcome back. Got another square canvas. I'm going to go again with that jiggle paw. Did you see my last one, Oceanic? Loved it. But uh, it had this turquoise in the middle. And as I said in the previous video, I'm going to try it with the aqua in the middle this time. So same paints. Everything's the same. Same amounts, same consistencies. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie. I added a little bit more flow troll to the white. Oh, there's a lump in that. Look at that. Um, my previous white, I did equal parts flow troll to white, and then I added the satin enamel. This one, I did the artist loft and the satin, satin enamel, and then that was equal amounts to my flow troll. So that's it there. So this one, the white's got a little bit more flow troll in it this time. This is a 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter square canvas, 16 by 16 inch. And, um, yeah, so that was the flow acrylic, the white, but I'll show you again, hey. So that had 80 grams of the flow acrylic, 40 grams of the satin enamel, so two to one. So that's 120 grams, which is four ounces. And then I did 120 grams of flow troll, so four ounces. Do you get that? Do you get the gist of that? <laughs> and then the other colors are Liquitex Basics. Two parts flow troll, one part paint, no water, just like that. Uh, aqua green, phthalo blue, the phthalo blue and some black to make the turquoise, just a blob of that. And the turquoise blue, and then I've still got half a cup of my Stream Sheen copper made up from the last pour, so I'm going to use that. Uh, so I mixed that one whole bottle of Extreme Sheen, so that's 60 grams with 30 grams of Floetrol. And I only used half of it, so I've got the other half left for this pour. Righto, let's put down a base coat. I think my last one didn't have enough of a base coat because it didn't slip slide away as well as it should have. So let's just thin this out. Um, I've got some left over from the other day. I'll just put that around the edges. Like so. I guess it helps to have a thicker base coat. My last one, as I said, yeah, it wasn't very thick. I just gave it a very thin coating. I thought, yeah, that'll be enough just to help the paint slide, you know, the puddle slide. But it didn't seem to slide as well as it could would have. So I'll just make this one a little bit thicker and then I'll still do the puddle in the middle because when you pour in from up high when your paints mix in with that white mix with the satin enamel that's where you get your little you know effects happening maybe your, your metallic pebbles or your white like clouds or pebbles whatever you want to call them those effects that you get from the satin enamel. Um, so it does help to kind of churn the paint if you pour it in from up high. All right, so that's that done. Let's move it out of the way and get to layering. Um, so I've still got some white left. So half of it will be for my puddle and the other half will be for a couple of layers in between. Right, so let's start with some aqua. 
And then this is the phthalo blue. And I'm going to do the same as last time. I'm going to try not to have any of the white or the copper on the outside. Now, I'm going to have to be really careful with this because last time I poured it in and it just went in a huge big blob. And I'd rather have like three smaller layers. It's just so strong. <laughs> I'm being extra careful. <clears throat> All right, that can go there because I'll do the same layers, same order. For my next layer. Mm, and then I'll do some white and then the navy I like the night the navy I can't talk today I like the navy next to the white and then back to the aqua I should have enough shoe these flies you guys over in the states do you have fly problems like I do or is it just an Aussie thing all right, looks like I'm going to put three layers of the copper. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's all I need, hey, because it does really take over. Okay, so that's half a cup. So we'll move the copper away, and I've still got actually some left. So maybe, maybe that's all I need. Maybe I only need to have like a third. Maybe I can get three pores out of that, a third. For each pool, I think so. Um, all right, so put that white aside because that's going to be for my puddle, and I'm just going to finish off with these colours because I don't want any effects on the side. I just want colour on the side, blues and turquoises. I have got a little bit more of the blue and the navy mixed up. Than the other colors because I want more of those on the outside so it looks like this cups having more layers like smaller layers but more layers I think I did put a little bit of extra white a little bit more white I should say in these layers and a little bit less of the copper in these layers in this cup Let's see if it's made any difference That's the end of the turquoise. Now I've only got my blue and my navy left. I'll use that to just fill up the rest of the cup. This cup holds 550 mils. So probably, what, two cups? About 500 grams-ish. Maybe 550 grams if you go right to the top. Mm, yeah, why not? <laughs> I do want lots of blue on the outside. So you want the blue to spread to the outside here. I don't want to have like copper and white on the edges. I want it all just to be blue on the edges. A little tiny bit left of that. The bright blue. Oh, I'm so full. Okay. Let's do our puddle. I'm just going to put all of what I've got left here. So I've got about 700 grams of mixed paint, including my white, for this size. And I do like to have a lot of paint, same as I do when I'm having, doing my flip cut pours. Um, I like to have lots of paint because I don't like overstretching things, that's just me. <clears throat> okay. I'll probably start with a bit of a straight pour because I can't really jiggle it when it's so full and then I'll change to a jiggle. I'll stand over this side, that way you can actually see what's coming out of the cup. I'll just support the cup here underneath. And then we'll start with my jiggle. Up and down, up and down. Get a little bit closer so that my jiggles aren't too wobbly. I find if I get closer to the surface they're not quite as wobbly. Mm. 
I'm doing quite big jiggles this time. Probably I'm moving the paint up and down about an inch. So two, two and a half centimetres. I'm actually moving the paint up. So more than I did last time. To see if I can get just a different effect. I like experimenting. As I get closer to the end of the cup, the jiggles will get smaller. There's a lot of white coming out. I'm liking that. Oh, here comes our aqua. This is the aqua center that I wanted. We'll slow down with the jiggles now because the cup's emptying. Still doing my folds on top of each other. And when you're ready, catch the drips. Don't stick your finger in the paint. <clears throat> Did do a little bit of a, a drip there. If you've got a little bamboo skewer, you can kind of, no, I don't know if I can fix that. No, I'm just going to leave it. You can sort of fix, if you've made a bit of a circle, you can sort of fix it. Um, let's just give this a torch. This has got less copper already. Can you see that? It's got less copper and I've got all that beautiful blue around the outside, which I wanted. So hopefully this one will, will work more the way I'm wanting it to. See how this outside here is just all blue and I've got the features in the middle. Hopefully the paint won't run over itself. Hopefully that blue will spread because I've got a thicker white base. I'm just going to go up and take a photo. <clears throat> so just bear with me. I don't think I can actually take a photo while I'm videoing, so I'll just pause it. Just thought I'd zoom you in while I was zooming in to take a photo. What do you think? Looks pretty, hey? All right, let's zoom back out a little bit. And we'll stretch this baby. How's that? A bit more. Okay, that'll do. Otherwise you can't see the outside, can you? Can't see the edges of the canvas if I zoom in too much. Okay, now, <clears throat> most of the paint's sort of over here. I did level my table the other day, but it looks as if it's still a bit off center so let's just do that corner first hopefully I won't lose my blue don't roll over the blue please I'm just gonna go slowly oh look my blue is not being lost the blue's kind of floating over the top of the white okay so that's what I wanted because I want to have the blue on the outside what I should do is put down like a navy blue base coat oh maybe yeah that's what I should do navy blue base coat and then my white puddle then this see this you can see where the white puddle was so that would actually go over the top of the blue so maybe not maybe that wouldn't work I don't know All right, let's go <clears throat> to the opposite corner so paint wants to head in that direction anyway I'll go slow because I don't want that blue to be lost. Oh, it's working. Woohoo, it's working. Up to the middle. Here's my little blobby bit. Oh well. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's always a little bit that you don't like, isn't there? Okay. Back to the other corner now. Look at all the white, just because I put a little bit of extra white in my cup. Okay, back to the middle. It is sliding a lot more easily with the bigger puddle. Uh, with the thicker background, I should say. Okay, let's go off to this corner. So it looks as if we've got aqua at one end, but we've still got the turquoise down this end. I 
much of a god. I still don't want to go over because then I'm going to lose these fingerlings. I'm just going to go to there. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. I can touch that corner up. Because if I went right over that corner, then I'd start losing those fingerlings there. Okay, opposite corner again. I don't know how I feel about having so much white in it. The other one didn't have so much. So this is where if I had the navy blue base coat, I wouldn't have to worry about my corners, would I? Back to the middle. Now I don't like that on the side, so that's going to have to go. So I'll have to push it over the side and over the corner here. Like so, and come back. Oh, look, I've got that white bit. Where am I going now? Uh, last corner. So don't tend to like those bits. Hmm. Where am I going? I've forgotten where I'm going because I keep turning my canvas around. Got a big copper blob in the middle. All right, let me have a look at that for a minute. And then I can decide whether or not I need to get that off. So that's what happens when you go for a corner and then you go for another corner. You, you get this kind of half moon effect. I don't know if I like it or not. <clears throat> I don't know. I wish you guys could answer me. So I've got one here, but it's got blue on it. So I think I'm going to have to take some of it off. Well, I don't know how to get down there now without ruining my composition. I'll just go slow. How's that? I don't know. I don't know if I like that bit of aqua in the middle now. Got some nice fingerlings. Definitely less copper in this one, hey? And definitely more white. <laughs> oh dear. I've got my dark blue around the edges, which I wanted. Could have had more blue for sure. Um, one day I'll get it right and I'll just put like maybe a third in the cup with the white and the copper and then two thirds in all blue. So it'll be all dark blue around there and then just a little bit of a feature in the middle. I guess I'll have to just keep practicing on that for a while. I, think I might leave it at that because <clears throat> I know it's kind of, it's sort of square looking there. But if I take that whole corner off, I'm going to lose the blue that I like. So I'm just going to leave it, I think. Fix up my corners. So do you prefer this one or do you prefer the previous one? Do you remember the other one? I can go and get it. I'll just fix up these corners. Get some navy on these corners here. Actually, I'll put a bit of that there because it's 
continuing with that phthalo blue there onto that corner anyway. I can't see what I'm doing, but hopefully that's covered that corner there. Come around here, do this one. Yeah, it takes a bit of practice, doesn't it? Like you think you know what you want or what you're doing, but it doesn't always come out that way. I did want more blue on the outside. Getting closer, I've got quite a lot of blue there. But I think that's maybe that's what I need to do is um, only do a third of the cup that's got the um, copper and the white in it. And then two thirds, the remaining two thirds, with just the blues and none of the copper and the white. Whoops, I can do this later, can't I? I'm making a mess on the sides. I should just leave it till later. Oh, I'm nearly done. There we go. Done like a dinner. Righto. Uh, I'll show you the previous one, and you can see which one you prefer. Oh, this one's got lots more copper in it. Wow, look at the difference, you guys. Lots more copper. Do you like that one? Do you like that one? I actually think I like the one with the more copper now. Better. Oh, can't win, can you? You think you're going to go for a better one? <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, and the first one was the better one, hey. I just think it's this, this aqua here. I know I said I wanted it, that aqua, but now that it's there, I don't know, it just looks a bit odd, just a little piece of aqua. I don't know. All right, I'll take you down for a close-up. You let me know what you think, whether you like the... You know, the extra blue around the outside. Squeaky ladder. <laughs> so those fingerlings there look really cool. With the white around them. The turquoise and the copper in the middle and then they got white around them. They look really cool, don't they? So I did increase the white. I probably should have left that extra little bit of copper that I had in my cup there. Where is it? Should have used it up, I guess. But the last one had so much copper, that's why I thought I'll reduce it. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so next time, half a cup of copper, a little bit more white. Um, and maybe the white will sort of subdue the copper a little bit like it's doing in this one. Got some white pebbles and things happening there on the outside. Beautiful stripies there, Got the blue edges, a little bit of copper through there, and then that's the aqua center that I'm just not sure about. And then back there up into the blues and whites. So there she is. What do you think? Do you like that one or do you prefer the first one? I think I prefer the first one. All right, so I think I'm done with these colours. I'm going to move on. I'm going to, same technique, but I want to try some mm, like a hot pink and a lime bright colours. Because I always do blues and turquoises, so I'm going to try for some hot pinks and limes and things like that. Alright, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye for now.